今の消費型社会では生活するためにお金が必要です住むところ着るもの食べるものといった基本的なものから光熱費交通費学費医療費などありとあらゆるものにお金が必要ですしかし皆さん生活するんだから仕方がないんじゃないかと思っていませんかこの生まれた時から刷り込まれた常識を覆す進化した社会形式がありますその社会に突然変わるとギャップがありすぎるのでまずは5年くらいの移行期間が必要になります簡単に言うとその移行期間中には月に1万ドル今のレートで約150万円くらいの基本収入つまりユニバーサルベーシックインカムですねこれが一人一人に入ってきますどうしてそうなるかというのは過去の動画で説明していますが簡単に言えばお金も社会も決定権を持つのは政治家ではなく私たち一人一人になるからですつまり自治社会ということですね法案というか社会のルールや提案は必要と感じた人が行いそれをスマホに組み込まれたアプリで、えー、各自がその是非を直接投票して決定されますトップ数パーセントが独占していた巨額の富そして世界の財産は分配され月1万ドルの基本収入が可能になりますしかし移行期間を過ぎてクリエイティブな社会が完全に構築されるとお金というものは必要なくなりますなぜかというと必要なものは全て無料で手に入るようになるからですつまり宇宙で使われている驚きのテクノロジーがようやく地球にもたらされるようになるということです量子世界を超えたエネルギーの世界目には見えない超量子の理論により物質は全て素粒子状態に分解され必要なものとして再生されるレプリケーターが登場しますその原料となる素粒子は不要となったものやゴミから抽出されますさらに1500歳まで若さと健康を保つヘルスカプセルもありますそしてこれらを動かすエネルギーは無燃料発電機 FFG で無料で無人造に生産されますこの夢のようなテクノロジーは五次元意識に到達した人類によってのみ形成される社会つまりクリエイティブな社会になってからしかもたらされませんどうしてかという説明は次の動画を見てみましょう「Ass of water」You know just this could change the world back on my planet even just one of these synthesizer things why couldn't you help them why couldn't you share your technology I mean There are whole countries that barely have clean water. This could save millions of lives. It's not that simple. Why not? You could just fly there and give it to them. Why wouldn't you? Well, for one thing, it's against the law. We're not allowed to drop advanced technology into a developing society like bestowing a gift from heaven. In fact, that's how our justice system regards it, like playing God. Trust me, it never goes well. But How could you have something like this and just keep it for yourselves? Each of our worlds was ready to use it responsibly by the time it was developed. It was available to everyone. Which is the only way it could really change the world. Look, if someone had landed on Earth during our 20th or 21st centuries and had given us something like this, you know what would have happened? It wouldn't have been made available to everyone. The rich and powerful would have found a way to exploit it for financial gain. Someone would have had to benefit materially from its use. The idea of everyone benefiting equally would have been inconceivable to them. Well, you don't know that my world would do that. It could be different. Who are you to make that judgment call? Exactly. Who are we to decide? If we're wrong, we could mess your planet up a thousand times worse. Technology and societal ethics have to progress hand in hand, each one supporting the other incrementally. Anything else is begging for disaster. Free energy generators have existed since long ago. But why do these technologies remain inaccessible to humanity? An American company has been one of the first in the world to produce magnetic energy generators of up to 25 kilowatts and is already supplying power to customers. A German company produces fuel free power plants and has branches in several countries. A Korean company has also released a working model of an electromagnetic generator with a capacity of 10 kilowatts. African technology made it possible not only to produce a free energy generator, but also to modernize a vehicle so that it could move without fuel or recharging. Fuel free generators, FFGs, are power generators with an efficiency greater than 100%, which means they produce more energy than they consume. 
But the most valuable thing is that this power source generates free and environmentally friendly energy. FFGs may be installed not only in houses and on vehicles, but also on helicopters, planes, and ships. Introduction of FFG technology alone will enable humanity to discontinue using hydrocarbon fuels. Now, let's imagine that every person on the planet would have a fuel-free generator. This means that electricity would become free. We will no longer have to pay for it. But in the consumerist format of society, this would be a great disaster because it would leave millions of people jobless. Those include experts involved in power plant maintenance and gas station employees. Everyone from a director to a janitor at a gas station will lose their jobs. All firms or companies involved in power generation will lose their incomes. While that includes logistic firms, manufacture of wires, pipes, and even all the machinery which has been necessary for the power plants. Manufacturers, suppliers, and sellers of solar panels won't be needed. Accordingly, hydropower will also be replaced with fuel-free generators, which means that all the employees and professionals who maintain dams will remain jobless. Moreover, this situation will cause a chain reaction. Those millions of people will no longer be able to buy goods and use pay services. Goods turnover as well as manufacturing plants will come to a halt. This in turn will affect billions of people who will lose their jobs and means of subsistence. This will cause a dissonance in the trade and manufacturing sectors as well as social tension, increasing the gap in society between the poor and the rich. This gap will in turn cause an increase in crime, racketeering, conflicts, confrontations, and discontent with authorities. People will take it to the streets. After all, hunger is the strongest incentive to commit illegal and inhumane acts. All this will lead to chaos. This crisis will affect all countries in general. They will begin to solve problems by force, and this will cause the death of billions of people. All in all, there is a paradox. Introduction of a simple technology that can improve people's lives will lead to a worldwide disaster. However, it is not technology that is a problem, but the state of society today. Thus, we have considered a scenario of events in the consumerist format of society. But there is also another scenario. If we change the format to a creative one, this kind of technology will be quite beneficial. In the creative society, the economy cannot become a threat to the lives of millions of people because the value of human life is a top priority and all conditions of existence are aimed at improving the quality of human life. But that's a different scenario, a choice which has yet to be made by people. ヘルスカプセルについても同じです。医者、病院、製薬会社、保険会社、すべての医療システムが崩壊してしまいます。この話にピンと来た方は、ぜひクリエイティブな社会プロジェクトにご参加ください。皆ボランティアなので、報酬はありません。しかし、人類と地球を救うために、皆さんの力が必要なのです。今日は、ウルポヘイアオ、カイルア、ハワイからお届けしました。